I recommend that all parents, all caregivers of infants attend a hands-on CPR class. There is no substitute for hands-on training. And so while I'll teach CPR in this class, I encourage you to take a hands-on class and get a CPR certification. So let's say that we have an infant that we find that's unresponsive or has collapsed. And of course, first thing we wanna do is make sure the scene is safe. We form a general impression. We're going to want to check the infant for responsiveness. So we're going to do that by tapping on the infant's foot and we'll call the infant's name. At the same time, we're going to look at the infant to see if we see any signs of breathing. If we don't see any signs of breathing whatsoever and the infant is not responsive, we want to point to a bystander, someone who's close by, and tell them to call 911, get an AED and a first aid kit. And if there's no one close by, then very quickly pull out your cell phone, call 911, and then put the cell phone on speaker, lay it next to the infant, and then move on to CPR. To perform CPR, we will place one hand on the patient's head to secure it. We'll take two fingers, and we'll take those two fingers and we will place it in the center of the infant's chest. And then we will push approximately an inch and a half deep, 100 to 120 times a minute. We will do that for 30 compressions. After completing those 30 compressions, we will tilt the infant's head back to open the airway and we'll provide two rescue breaths. And really it's just two puffs, one after another. And then we will continue the cycle of chest compressions and rescue breaths until EMS arrives. We will only stop CPR if the infant becomes responsive. They begin coughing, they, they begin breathing on their own, they show signs of life, or EMS arrives and relieves us.